somebody releasing an estimated 40,000 minks from a farm in northwest Ohio yesterday. And now we're getting an idea of how much it'll cost and the damage it could cause. Tatiana Cash has some of those answers tonight. Well, Melissa, Jeff, we did learn that the farm has been able to get back about 80% of the minks that are on the loose. And while it could seem to some as a good thing, animals meant for slaughter were set free. But there's a large neg ne there's a large negative financial and economic impact from this release, which has been anything but good. With some 30,000 mink accounted for, leaves possibly 10,000 more on the loose, which creates a negative domino effect. Uh, the ecosystem, they put in a bad situation. Residents are in a bad situation. The mink themselves are in a bad situation. The farmers, there's not a scenario where this is good. Chalice Hobbs, the executive director of the Fur Commission USA, says there are about 100 family farms across 12 states breeding about 1.5 million mink. And the average price for each is around $40. You're looking at $1.6 million would be the livestock loss. That's just the livestock loss. We're not talking the vandalism, the graffiti, the, the fence is broken, the, the cage is torn apart, the, the barns vandalized. He says two Ohio farms and one Michigan have been attacked by activists in the last three weeks. Allison A. from Nature's Nursery says mink are aggressive hunters, willing to prey on any animal two times their size. So the loose mink are putting people's pets, farmers' chicken, and other livestock in danger. At 10,000 mink, and you're, you're talking 1,600 chick, chickens a day, these things would need to find. And so now you're, you're wiping out like the, the rodents, the smaller squirrels and chipmunks and things like that. And now you've got raptors and the other animals that would normally feed on them that are going to be leaving that area to find food elsewhere. These farm mink are domesticated, so they lack wildlife survival skills. So both Hobbs and A believe those activists actually did more harm than good. Nature's Nursery explains that they're not going to be taking any of the mink that you catch because they're technically not wild. So it is best to call the sheriff's office for more information on what to do next. Live in studio, Tatiana Cash, WTOL 11.